Let me show you exactly how I made about $4,000 trading the NASDAQ in less than 10 minutes. Now, these trade breakdowns are something that I'll always do after every single position in front of the private community members. However, I will also upload these trade breakdowns on YouTube from time to time. And I personally believe that trade breakdowns is the absolute best piece of content that you can get. There's plenty of videos explaining all the new fancy concepts and all the new trading strategies, but trade breakdown is the most real honest and just the best content that you can get in trading so without further ado let me show you how we had a great winning day on the nasdaq so coming into the morning here at 9 50 uh we had news at 10 a.m this morning which was the exact reason why i did not take the first setup that i called out to all the discord members i said that this looked like a really really good short off of this high unfortunately though i didn't personally take it because we there was 10 minutes until ppi release and i just wasn't comfortable shorting it but again had we actually shorted this that would have been high a day it would have been the most beautiful trade of all time uh, but unfortunately rules are rules and i'm simply not going to trade 10 minutes prior to high impact news again this one is less important but an absolutely beautiful short here again would have been cool if we caught it we didn't though i waited uh, patiently for another entry and we got that which we're going to break down now so again after coming up and hitting this original buy side objective we actually also formed an smt right here now i was bearish on the day because my daily objectives had already been hit so if i go to a daily time frame uh my, my daily objective here was the uh, ce of this imbalance so that was hit right there uh, I had one more objective, which I sort of wanted to see hit, uh, which was the CE of this weekly inverse fair value gap right here, uh, which obviously were also hit. So all my buy side objectives were hit at this moment in time. Uh, and I told the team after this SMT, all I need is some displacement, you know, a lot of bearish volume, something showing me that the market is willing to go lower and hunt these equal lows that we've made here. So we had beautiful equal lows. But again, this wasn't just your regular old equal lows, because if I go to a 12 hour time frame and I actually show you uh, these equal lows were an unmitigated 12 hour imbalance. OK, so the market is attached to two things. That's liquidity and inefficiencies. Now, this 12 hour imbalance was not hit at the time. That is a large inefficiency and something that the market is very likely going to rebalance towards. So again, I had equal lows, which means a bunch of stop losses here on the two minute chart, as you can see. A bunch of stop losses were built up here because of the equal lows. We had a 12 hour imbalance down here. And after we got this SMT, if you're confused as to what an SMT is, it is when you have two correlated assets, which in this case is the e mini NASDAQ and the e mini SP. Correlated meaning they should move sort of the same, right? The chart looks the same. They move correlated, they move the same. The chart looks almost the same. So this high was also there in the S&P. However, the S&P 500 swept this high and the Nasdaq didn't. As you can see, that's what we call an SMT divergence. And that is something that I like to have behind my positions. It is a good indication of a reversal. So again, the S&T happened. We got the displacement. I have my equal lows. So at this point in time, I don't, I don't want the market to go higher, right? I have no reason to believe that the market wants to go higher. We got an S&T. Looks like it's holding. But I do have a reason for the market to go lower, which was these equal lows down here, right? So again, all I was waiting for was displacement here. I wanted to see sort of a sell model down towards these equal lows. Now, a sell model is essentially just when we have a price move up, leaving behind sell side liquidity. I want a, a price move down. Uh, and typically, we'll get a few consolidations in there. Uh, so a consolidation, expansion, consolidation, expansion. I was wanting to get an entry off of the first consolidation, which is something that we call the first stage distribution. Now, this may seem like a, a bunch of fancy words if you don't know what a market maker model is. I do have videos on that as well if you're confused. But again, that's what I was waiting for. So at this moment in time, we actually got a bullish SMT right here with the S&P 500. Now, I just said that that could be a point of reversal or the strong uh, reversal indication. But obviously, not every SMT is going to be a point of reversal. Now, the reason why I didn't trust this one to hold is because when we have equal lows like this and we have a 12 hour inefficiency here, that is likely going to be a lot stronger than the SMT. OK, we only had an SMT at this low. The S&P 500 had not swept this low. That was way further down here. Right. So we had an SMT at this small low here bullish one didn't expect it to hold now another reason why i didn't expect it to hold is because we also had a bullish smt here so we have a bearish smt which is holding we got a bullish smt which obviously didn't hold so why would i expect this new bullish smt to hold right if the if the if the previous bullish smt failed to hold and the bearish one successfully held why would i expect this one to down here right 
So I didn't expect it to hold. I was waiting for a high to be put in in a survey gap, which is right here. And then I was waiting for a liquidity sweep of that high. That is my system. That is how I trade. And for an absolutely beautiful 3R position, I shorted uh, off of the high that we put in in this two hour or two minute imbalance here. Now, if we go ahead and draw out our premium and discount tool here, you'll also be able to see that our entry aligns pretty well with the CE or the equilibrium of this smaller trading range, which is a good sign because if we are going to rebalance to anything here, it's likely not going to be a lot higher than equilibrium. So if I have that included in my stop, I'm very, very satisfied. Uh, and so this is what the trade looked like. As you can see, we get filled and we tap equilibrium to the absolute T. We play it out, which is immediately flush the lows. Now, I personally didn't hold any runners, but I told the team that this was a day where I expected a harsh sell off. I expected the market to sell off heavy today. So I said, this is a trade where you're supposed to leave runners. OK, not every trade is good for runners. This one is. Uh, and as you can see, if people had held runners during this position, that would have ran to about 30 R uh, in profit right now. Uh, as you can see, I actually caught the high day where I called out the high day by calling out this turtle soup. Uh, now, obviously, I can just be sitting here chatting absolute garbage, uh, but it is I, I did call it out on the live stream. Um, and again, the reason why I didn't take it is because it was 10 minutes prior to PPI, uh, but an absolutely beautiful entry and overall just very easy to read this market for me personally, which I haven't had in a while. I do think the market has been sort of tough. Um, so yeah, great to see a day of just clean price action, in my opinion, absolutely beautiful. And that was this trade breakdown. Now, I hope you enjoyed this trade breakdown. And I genuinely hope that this helps you guys understand the market better, understand how I read it, understand how I became profitable reading the market the way I do. Because again, I do believe that trade breakdowns are just the best content out there that you could possibly get. They, it's just real, it's raw, and it tells you exactly why I entered here and why my exit was here which is which is essentially the important part of trading. Now, getting to know all these new technical terms or all these new concepts is, is is really not good for a lot of people. I don't think I think trade breakdowns is what you want to watch because that is real executions showing you exactly how that person trades. And I personally think that trade breakdowns has helped me a lot throughout my journey, which is also why I do them myself. So again, thank you a lot for watching. That was this beautiful trade and I'll see you on the next video.